basically, I am looking at... Um, what am I looking for? There we go. I am looking at this area. Wow. That's not what I had planned. <laughs> Bear with me. Let's see if this is a little bit... There we go. I'm looking at this area as a, as a large consolidation zone. Um, what, I am, what, what I am anticipating is that the market is going to consolidate, and, and I, this goes for the rest of the Japanese yen pairs uh, and the, the, um, the U.S. stock market also. Uh, I'm, I look, I'm looking at these yen pairs as, as entering into an extreme consolidation area. The reason why I'm chopping off this little uh, blip down here is because, uh, because of the size of these bars. Okay? This is typical action of the so-called blow-off. Okay, this is a very emotional kind of reaction. Uh, so the consolidation area that I'm looking at really runs from these highs to these lows, which means that uh, whichever way this thing does manage to move, about 1,500 pips either way. Uh, so that puts, let me just line this up, that puts the Aussie yen down here around 75.80. Uh, so multi-year lows, if, if it does manage to get down there, but certainly not all-time lows. You can see back in 2000, 2001, uh, the Aussie was down here at 60. Okay, so we have to remember that there's a lot of room on the downside for all of these yen pairs. Uh, just I cleaned up the moving averages there. So let's go down. Uh, we'll look at the Swiss yen. This... Uh, what is going on? Looks like we're, I just have some data issues. Bear with me. I apologize. I'm apologizing for eSignal. Yeah, they've just they've got they've got some issues here. There we go. So uh, with the Swiss yen, same thing. You're going to see lows across all these currency pairs near the 2000 2001 area. Uh, 64 here for the Swiss franc. Yen, Can uh, Canadian, Canadian yen. Uh, again, all all time or historical lows back in 2000. Uh, New Zealand yen. You can see a lot of volatility here. Uh, the New Zealand yen, I think, was was the greatest. You can see here we had one, two, three, four weeks, which had taken out uh, really the ye prior year's trading. Okay, so a significant drop there. Uh, once again, the uh, consolidation area that I'm looking for is r runs right about through here, uh, which pegs right about 1,600 pips worth of move up or down uh, on the low side. That puts it around 63.55. Again, not certainly not doomsday by any stretch of the imagination. In fact... Uh, to hopefully put, put a realistic uh, spin on this for you, that's just a 618 retracement. Okay, that's a normal retracement. Uh, yes. Just to give you some additional perspective, this is the S&P 500. A normal retracement puts the S&P 500 back down here at 1,081. Uh, you notice that there's a, a similar type of consolidation area uh, over here for the S&P 500, a little bit over 100 points. Uh, that puts it down uh, around 1,300 on the, on the first trip down. Just to give you some perspective. So really, while we're talking about in overall terms what can be a very, very large move in, in the grand scheme of uh, the overall ratios. We're not talking about a, a catastrophic move here, are we? Uh, let's go over here to the pound yen. And that's not what I wanted. Retracement. 187. 22 would be the 618 retracement. So again, not, not catastrophic. In fact, there's quite a bit of consolidation in this area, isn't there? 
Uh, in fact, this, this currency pair has two overlapping areas uh, right next to each other.